to sort of secure your ESAs. Alright, so I've done that to all four of my ESCs, and now it's time to connect our motors up. And what we need to do, we need to direct solder these uh, straight across here to our ESCs. Uh, and something I get asked quite a bit, I get a few messages, and they say, and it says basically, Stu, do I have to cut my motor wires so short? And the answer is no, you can actually leave them as long as you feel comfortable. So what I'm going to do, I do recommend cutting off this end part just here, though, because I'd want to pre-tin my own wires. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave these motor wires a little bit longer just to show you that it doesn't have any real negative uh, impacts except for adding a little bit of weight so usually I would be cutting my motor wires much much shorter but in this case I'm going to leave them quite long all right so uh, what you need to do you need to cut your wires and then you're going to strip off just a little bit of rubber on the outside and then we're going to pre-tin them again I'm going to use my blue tack Alright, so you need to do that to all four of your motors as well. Alrighty, so we've got our four motors and we've got our four ESCs and now it's time to, oh, there's three, there's the fourth one, uh, and now it's time to hook them all up and what we need to do, depending on how we hook them up, is going to determine which direction they actually spin and these motors, some of them are counterclockwise and some of them are actually clockwise, there's the clock clockwise ones and there's the counterclockwise ones so these clockwise ones are going to go on motors one and four and, and these counterclockwise ones are spinning on motors two and three and uh, the way you can change the direction of the motor is how you solder it up so if you solder them up straight across they're going to spin one way and if you uh, so the first wire to the first pad second wire to the second pad and third wire to the third pad uh, that's going to make them spin one way and if you want to change the direction all you have to do is simply cross over two of those wires uh, and that's going to change the direction now that's the hard way computer uh, when you're finished your yeah, build and you can change it to the El Heli software and I'll leave a link for that in the description as well. So I'm just going to solder them all, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder them all straight across and I'm just going to change it in the software, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that and you want to reverse the direction of a motor, all you have to do is swap two of these wires over. Alrighty, so uh, let's get ahead and solder these together. So this is really simple, especially because we've pre-tinned both our wires what and all the these on the ESC So that's uh, our motors done. That's well. That's one of them. What we need to do, we need to do that to all four of them. So let's. Uh, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to cut back to what it looks like with all those done. All right. So now we've soldered up all our motors, and they've got all our ESCs attached. We're actually going to screw them down to our frame. Uh, so we're going to put our. Let me go. There's a counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Clockwise and clockwise, we're going to actually screw our motors down to so the clockwise motors, and you can tell that because they've got these little arrows just here on the uh, on the motor itself, which tell you which way it's going to go. So we're going to screw those down using the supplied hardware that came with our motors, and then we'll uh, get, I'll, uh, get back to it. So that's our next step. So I'm going to screw those down. And when you're doing it, just make sure that the screws aren't touching the inside uh, wire cord because you don't want that happening. Alright, so here's all my motors screwed in, and this is what I was talking about before, where it's okay to leave the leads a little bit longer if you're not too confident with cutting them too short. Uh, so all you're going to have to do is double them back. Now I don't usually build like this, but uh, that's how I'm going to do it in this case, just to show you that it's totally fine. All you're going to have is that little bit of excess weight that you could probably remove. Anyway, uh, what our next step is, before we go any further, we actually need to put a piece of heat shrink over these. Uh, so it doesn't short out on the carbon because carbon fiber is conductive, so let's do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut myself four pieces of heat shrink that will fit over the ESCs. Now this heat shrink is probably a little bit big, uh, but it's still the one that I'm going to be using. Right, like that. And then we're just, all we have to do is slide it over the top of our ESC, over the ESC wires just like this and that's going to shrink 